Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for giving us this opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and to pray together. This week we're talking about work and how it is God's design for us to work. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 through 27. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was his fall. Here Jesus explains how building our life is like building a house. If we want a strong building, we need a strong foundation. The deeper the foundation, the higher the building can go, the longer the building lasts. The only foundation for us as believers is listening to Jesus' teachings and being obedient to them and putting them into practice. In Jesus' illustration of two builders, each house looked the same on the outside, but the foundation was different. The wise and the foolish man were both engaged in the same avocations, and to an extent, they probably had the same design of the house. The real foundation of our life is usually hidden and proven only during a storm. If we, if we are not, we commit the sin that will surely find us out, the sin of doing nothing. It is better that we test our foundation of our life now rather than later. When the Apostle Paul talked about building the church of Jesus, he used house building language as well. In 1 Corinthians 3, 11 through 13, he warned that no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay or straw, his work will be shown for what it is. God's household, built on the foundation of apostles and prophets with Christ himself as the cornerstone. The Apostle Peter again says that we are living stones. You and I are called to be built in a spiritual house. And why is this so? Not just to have a solid, full life worth of living, but that you and I may declare the praises of Him and who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. In the workplace, Jesus wants us to live by His Word, teaching His Word, obedient to His Word, applying the principles of God's Word into our workplace. And we can share the message with others to help build our lives and their lives, to build their lives on the foundation of Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for this time. We thank You for Your Word. Your word exhorts us, Lord, to build on good foundation. And I pray, God, that even as we work and do the things that you have called us to do, Lord, that we will build on you, O oh God, on your word, on your principles, that our foundation will be strong, that no matter what storms come our way, we will stand those storms, not by our own strength, but by your word, by your promises, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.